I've just finished week 10 of running, which means I think there's only one more week left doing this project and then we've got the hiring week, which means only one more week of projects and all of that, which is, feels, it feels like it's gone really, really fast, especially after this week. I feel like every week just seems to be going quicker and quicker. We've had a really productive weekend with the team, so um, I'm quite optimistic and I'm feeling quite good right now. So for my final project, we're doing a recipe recommender web app, which basically means, well, the plan is that it's like a web application. You can put in the one, two, three, maybe four or more. We haven't sort of that yet. We put in a number of ingredients that you have in the house and search and it'll return the recipes that include those ingredients. And ideally we want it then to filter by maybe how many extra ingredients you need for that recipe. So you could be like, I've got these four ingredients and I only want to cook something that requires at most one more ingredient. So you can filter by that. And it's also, it's a platform people can add recipes to. So it's sort of social in a way that people can add their own recipes, vote on recipes, sort of, and rate, rate how good a recipe is. So the final project that I'm working on is a platform for people to share their road trip experiences with other people. Um, the core features of this, um, of this web application are that um, users can create road trips and can create uh, itineraries with um, starting points and, and destination points and also stop off points along the way. And what we're doing is we're hoping to integrate that with Google, AP, Google Maps API so that uh, they can display these, um, display their, their routes um, to other users. And additional features include um, allowing users to post about their, um, their road trip experience and um, also post pictures and allow other users to comment on, uh, on, on the posts. I think we've been working quite well together. It's been, we spent a couple of days just trying to figure out what we actually wanted the web app to do. So there was a lot of discussion involved at the start of the week. You know, some things are more difficult than we were expecting and some things have just, we've thought, oh, this won't take that long, we'll do it and we'll move on to something else. And then it's taken double as double the amount of time we expected or maybe triple the amount of time. So I guess what's really maybe gone wrong has been our time estimations. It's very easy for a project like this to um, to try and do too much. Um, so we've had to rein in uh, the MVP and, and really focus on the core features, what makes our web application different to, for example, uh, the typical blogging platform out there. I feel that it's just uh, the start of something great. Um, junior developer is not where I want to um, stay for long. I want to progress up, up the ladder to a senior developer. So uh, this is a small, small step, but it's a significant one. I have learned a lot and we've done a lot over 10 weeks, so it doesn't feel as strange as I would have expected to be calling myself that, you know, after not even three months. But it's kind of exciting as well, like, I can, I'm a junior developer, I can develop things. Um, yeah, so it's, it's exciting uh, and it's happened very fast. Coming towards the end of the course, I'm a bit disappointed that it can't go on, but I realised that I now need to step off into the wider world. Whilst I'm a bit sad about it, um, I'm actually happy that um, I've managed to get this far and uh, who knows what's around the corner next. The main thing is that I'm very enthusiastic to, to keep on learning and that's that's one of the things that um, has this Maker's Experience has really uh, encouraged me to do and um, it's one of the, the takeaway highlight points. Uh, that I will I will continue with um, with my career.